what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so if you saw my previous video you knew that it was part one for installing the air struts this is going to be part two including the rears i did go ahead and close my garage because it started getting really windy and super chilly and like i said i'm catching a cold so i don't want to get even more sick so here's the veloster and here's how it's sitting in the front currently right so it's sitting like that. I don't have the air lines or compressor or anything set up yet. Literally just the air struts. And we're going to get started on this to get rid of that wheel gap. Alright, now that the car is off of the ground, let's go ahead and take these wheels off. Alright, so starting off, we're going to have to remove this bolt right here, which is a 19 millimeter, as well as its sister bolt right over here. Not sure if you guys saw that, but that way I'm able to take off the uh, rear strut. And then once I loosen those up, I'm going to put the jack stand underneath the spring, that way it doesn't fall out and hit me in the face. So let's get started with that. As you can see, it's starting to loosen up, just fighting with me a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the jack stand under the spring and we'll finish taking those off. Now we just have to wiggle out the Oh, that was easier than I thought. Alright guys, so we got the rear strut and the rear spring out. Here's the comparison between airbag and spring and then both of the struts. As you can see, that's already a lot lower on both ends. Now the spring, for whatever reason, was giving me a really hard time to take off. So I did have to use some spring clamps and finally it came off, but now I'm just trying to see how to install the bag and the air strut. Okay, so now we're going to be installing the bag. As you see here, the little rubber grommet came off. Uh, the way that I took it off was I tried prying it off from the side, but it didn't work. So I put a little screw inside and popped it off that way. And now. Alright, so it turns out that there actually is a bolt inside of this. I'm going to try taking it out and let's see what, goes, what happens from there. Okay, a little, little tiny bolt here, as you can see. Now, with that gone, Nice. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> OK, 
Okay, so we got the bag in. Now I just have to figure out how I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, so I just adjusted this. I pretty much put this as high as it would go, which is about an inch and a quarter um, off the OEM strut. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at an inch and a quarter. I am gonna measure this off just to see how much it is. That way the, the other side can be exactly the same size. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install it like this, with just the inch and a quarter off. That way I can see if it needs any adjustment or if it's too high, too low, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I actually don't remember how much wheel gap I had with the wheels in the air, but it is at two fingers right now, so I'm probably going to have to readjust these as well, but again, we'll see once we're done. So before installing the other side, here is the other strut, and measuring it, um, it's about two and a half inches. And this one that I currently have on is at three and a half, so I'm just adjust this first and then we'll get that started. <coughs> this one is being stubborn. God damn, dude. <sighs> I can't even get it with my breaker bar because it's at such a weird angle that it just cracked my freaking socket look right there that hairline crack oh I found an extension guys so hopefully this works come on oh. Woo. I think I finally did it oh yeah look at that oh beautiful and I did not mean to drop that. Let's go. Oh, extension came through. <coughs> Woo! Look at that big old mama jama. Alright. Now that that's out. Let's get this bottom bolt out. Alright, let's pull this sucker out. There we go. Now, time for that strut to be released. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. <coughs> Okay, so I already have this adjusted to the right height where I want it. It's at three and a half inches right here, starting from the top to the very top of the spindle. <coughs> so let's get this. Alright you guys, 
So what I found was the easiest was loosening this part up and then you can just extend this all the way down until it matches right here. Line up the bolt and I do have the other side on already as you can see right there. So, so I'm just going to line this bolt up and then I had both of them measured at three and a half but I'm thinking of going three and a quarter just so it's a little bit lower in the rears. So let's do it. About right there so I have it down to three and a quarter now I'm just gonna have to tighten this all the way up and we'll be done all right so I googled it and the torque for the top bolt is 72.5 and the torque for this bottom back bolt right there is 73 so I'm gonna just torque both at 73 Bring this down. Oh, the rears are gonna sit low, I already tell. Okay, let's torque this. Later that same evening. Oh yeah, let's go. My dad's helping me put the rear bags on. I had such a difficult time removing these springs, but as soon as he came, Everything got easier. Okay, so quick little update. Um, I did like a whole video of why I wasn't going to do the rear bags and everything. But, uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and delete those, skip over those, and just put this in. Um, I wasn't planning on recording, but um, my dad and I finally got the rear bag in. So we're going to put the other one on. We just want to torque these... Uh, bolts before moving on so we thought that our bag was like sitting oddly and I'll show you a little video flashback look so this is really sketchy because this isn't even fully seated on the top hat it's kind of like loose and then at the bottom I can't screw it because it's not lined up but the air tech didn't come with any brackets or anything so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Hopefully it's okay though. I thought it was sitting oddly and that it was just not safe. So what I did was I just put the OEM spring on the one, because I had only changed that one rear back, one side. So I put the OEM spring on, but then I put the two aftermarket uh, rear shock absorbers and like on the, on the car obviously in the back. But um, I tried adjusting it and everything, seeing if it would go lower, but it still looked pretty high. So what my dad did is he actually helped me install the rear bag. So that's what we're doing now. I just wanted to do a quick little update. It was like a super last minute, like, holy shit, let me go get my camera. Because I wasn't planning on recording it because I just was having so much trouble with it that I didn't want to bother recording. When I say that, because... I had like 15 videos on the other one of just me not being able to do it. <laughs> so, actually putting it on is pretty cool. Now let's torque these bolts before my dad gets back because he will be upset with me if they're not done.
All right, you guys. Oh. All right, you guys. So really quick, rear bag and shock absorber, rear bag and shock absorber. So my dad helped me install both rear bags and put the shock absorbers back because I had a difficult time with that. So huge shout out to dad. Thank you. And now before throwing the wheels back on and taking it for a test drive, what I want to do is measure these out. So, I don't know if you remember, I had it at almost three and a half. It was about um, three and like two little lines. No, well, three and a half actually. I have it at three and a half. So, I'm going to try adjusting it so we can just be to three and a quarter. And hopefully the rear sits a lot lower. So... Let's try that out. Actually, what we're going to do for tonight is the bags themselves are lower than the OEM springs. Um, and the rear was sitting pretty high up. So I'm going to just keep these at three and a half for now and see how low it sits with the bags actually in them. And if I like the right height, then I'll just go ahead and keep them like this. So let's throw the wheels back on and call it a night. All right, you guys. So... I backtracked a little bit. I did go ahead and adjust the rear uh, shock absorbers. I went from three, a little over three and a half to three and a quarter flat. And let me show you this. God damn. Bro. This is how the rears are sitting right now. Look at that. That is beautiful. So, as for the fact of installing the air struts, airbags, that is a success. We're going to go drive the car right now, just see how it feels. Um, I did dampen it up a little bit because I had a little bit of a bouncy ride. And for now, I guess this is pretty much it for this video. I'm super happy that we finally installed those rear bags because that huge wheel gap in the back was terrible. And now it looks nice and even, nice and flat, so that's really cool. Huge shout out to my dad for helping me out. I was so frustrated. I was just laying on the floor. I didn't want to do anything, and he just came, and everything was, like, super easy. Like, that man has a magical, like, mechanical touch, you know? So thank you, Dad, if you're watching this. And yeah, so I'm super, super happy for the result of how it looks at the moment. So that's going to be it for the installation of the air struts. Like I said, I'm going to try doing the wiring, do a little more research, and just figure that whole thing out so I can have that in a separate video. But for now, I just want to say thank you guys. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Go ahead and give this video a like, give me a shout out, share the video with somebody, and just have a great night. Have a great rest of your night. So I hope to catch you guys on the next video, and we'll see what that one's going to be about. Till next time. Ow! Bro, did it die? No way! God damn it! <sighs> Holy shit! Bro, I cracked my fucking socket! How does that even happen? <laughs>